Hey guys, in this tutorial, we're looking at crop and zoom. We'll be covering crop as well as pan and zoom. Camera movements are essential in creating different styles and feelings in a video. Most movies, videos, and shows you watch will have some sort of camera movement in them. However, sometimes in post-production when we edit, we want to emulate these camera movements to add style to our shot. Let's start with cropping a clip. Cropping lets you cut out certain parts of your frame so the audience can't see it. Right-click the clip in your timeline and navigate to Crop and Zoom. This will open up the Crop and Zoom window. In the center, you will be able to see your video. At the bottom of the screen, we can select our aspect ratio from the Ratio drop-down menu or type in a custom one in the boxes. You can use something like 1x1 one one for a square Instagram post, or 9x16 to crop something to a vertical phone video's aspect ratio. To revert your changes back to normal, you can click the reset button on the bottom left corner. Right above that, we have simple viewer controls letting us click play and scrub through our video. Now, let's crop this frame a little. I'll drag the corner of the blue box to select a frame size. Then I can position it where I want it. And just like that, my video is cropped. In this video, the camera is rising upwards with our actor in frame the whole time. A dramatic slow movement could be a great way to reveal our character to the audience instead of having his whole body in frame. So, with this effect, we want to make it appear like the camera is panning towards our actor. To start, right-click on the clip and then click Crop and Zoom. This will open up the Crop and Zoom window. Click Pan and Zoom at the top of the screen. The big blue square shows where the camera movement will start. So I'll select a part of my frame that I want to start on. You will also see another square labeled with End. By clicking inside of it, you can now change the frame that you want your movement to end on. I'll drag this to the actor now. This frame looks good. A simple way to see the direction that you're panning is the arrow. Just look for the direction of the green arrow stretching from your start frame to your end frame. The button in the bottom right corner will let you swap the position of the start and end frames. This can be a nice way to compare the movement forward and back. If at any time you want to start over with your movement, you can click the reset button. This button won't affect your video. It will just reset your crop, pan, and zoom. Now let's click OK and watch back our new clip. Camera movement looks great. Now I'm going to show you how to use pan and zoom in a screen recorded video like a gaming video or a tutorial like this one. Here's the effect we're going to create. It's common to zoom into a point of interest on this screen recorded clip and zoom back out. So let's use this screen recorded stationary clip to zoom in and zoom out. To start, we're going to cut the clip into three different sections. First, select where you want the zoom in to end, and make a cut with the scissor icon. Next, choose where you want the zoom out to begin, and make a cut there as well. Now, right-click the clip and select Crop and Zoom, and then Pan and Zoom. Now, I'll click on the End box to select the area that I want to zoom into. Then I'll click OK. Now, right-click the next clip and select Crop and Zoom again. 
then back to pan and zoom. This time, place your end frame in the same position as the last clip. Now, click the swap button on the bottom right of the window to swap your start and end positions. Now, I'll click back to the crop menu and make sure the highlighted part of the screen is the part of the screen that I want to hold on. Then I'll click OK. Now for the final part. Right click the third clip and again navigate to the pan and zoom window. Place the end frame into the same position as last time. And click the swap button again to swap the start and end frames. Click OK, and then you're done. And now let's take a look at the final result. Looks good. Thanks for watching. Check out some of our other tutorials to learn how to take your video from start to finish with Filmora 9.